In this video, we're going to look at the satisfaction metrics that you can track and review in Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. So there are three different satisfaction metrics that we can use and measure. And those are CSAT or customer satisfaction. They are NPS, net promoter score, and also sentiment, whether the feedback someone's giving is positive, negative, or neutral. All right, so we are in customer voice and I'm going to go to create a new project and I'm just going to do a blank one and I'm just going to put it in my sandbox environment. So pretty quick to just get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of questions. Uh, I'm going to add a rating question. Um, overall, how did we do with your recent support case? And we're going to go ahead and do stars and we'll do up to 10 stars that they can give us on a rating. We're also going to go ahead and we'll ask a text question and we'll make that a long answer and we'll say, um, was there anything specific that made your experience good or bad? All right, so we're just going to go with those for right now. Okay. Ugh. Sorry, I know it's just a demo, but there we go. <laughs> okay, so support resolution survey. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the satisfaction metrics to the specific question that I want to use it to track. Um, so what I mean by that is if I just add in a couple of others and let's just go with first name and then let's go with last name as well. And we'll also go with email address. So those are text questions um, that we're then asking. So the satisfaction metrics, we're basically going to take a metric and we're going to apply it to a specific question. So we're going to say when this question is answered, this is what we want to analyze. So if I go to the survey properties and I go to satisfaction metrics, we can see at the minute we haven't actually added any metrics to this yet. So what we want to do is click add metrics and we're going to go with sentiment. Now, when I do that, we'll notice that anything that is a um, is a text question is going to be used or can be used to actually track the sentiment of that specific question. So if I scroll down, we can see there's those uh, first name, last name and email text questions. But that's the one that we actually care about and want to track the sentiment for. I, I can't possibly track sentiment for first name or last name or email. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to choose that one to select and I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, I'm going to go with my CSAT and I'm going to see the option there. We've got a rating so we can basically use that to calculate the satisfaction. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then finally, I'm going to do net promoter. However, I haven't added a net promoter score question and that's the only one I can use, obviously, to track net promoter score. So it's empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new one at the bottom. We'll put in net promoter score and we'll go back to the satisfaction metrics. We'll add a net promoter score. And now I can see there's the question available. All right, so let's go ahead and save that question. Then what's going to happen is once we start to get responses in the satisfaction metric area, we're going to be able to see those responses come through. So let's switch to another project. I'm going to go to one here where we've got three surveys within that specific project and we've got 48 responses. So for this one about <clears throat> me, content overview. So I've got a survey all about videos, one about blogs and one about podcasts. For each one, I've gone ahead and I've sat, set up the satisfaction metrics and I'm basically, have, I'm asking pretty much the same questions, the wording slightly different, but I've set up and I've said, um, which question do I want to use for the different satisfaction metrics? So we can see that we're basically setting it up for each survey, but then the benefit of having all of these surveys, because they're along the same lines as a common theme, I want to be able to track the metrics overall for all three surveys. If I now go to my satisfaction metrics area, what we'll see is we'll see the metrics for all of the responses combined. And it's basically figured it out and said, okay, for all surveys, 
your CSAT score is 4.2. For the MPS, it's 63. And for the sentiment, overall is positive. If I now click up here, I can see all surveys and I could switch to see, well, what about specifically for the video survey? What about specifically for the blog survey? And then also for the podcast survey. So we can get the satisfaction metrics for each individual survey, but also get the overall satisfaction metrics as well. If I want a reminder of what these satisfaction metrics are, I can click up here and I can say, let's view the satisfaction metrics. So I know for the, um, for the different types of satis satisfaction metrics, we can see which of the questions it is that we are using to track for each of those metrics. So for sentiment, we are basically using three questions that have been mapped, one from the blogs survey, one from the video survey, and one from the podcast survey. So these satisfaction metrics are a great way for us to be able to see overall how we're doing, how happy and satisfied our customers are, would they promote us, um, and we're able to get that at a project level but we're also able to drill down at each individual survey and see the satisfaction metrics at that level as well. The other thing that we could do is if I go to um, one of the reports for one of those surveys and I look at the respondents, I can also see the individual responses there as well. So I can see, OK, well, this person is moderately happy um, with YouTube videos. So almost three different levels. Um, to kind of drill down and analyze and look at the feedback. So I hope this has helped in terms of understanding satisfaction metrics within Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. And if you're not already, I would suggest you start using them so that you can start to get value from the satisfaction metrics functionality. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.